Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about, in the Work From Home series, about Remote Desktop Protocol, otherwise known as RDP. With everyone working from home, a lot of Remote Desktop Protocol RDP sessions are being done over the internet. And you really don't wanna do that unless you're tunneling and you're doing a VPN with two-factor authentication. But what we're seeing is a lot of just standard 3389 RDP open on the internet or people are trying to obfuscate it to using a different port 3390 or some other port, which really doesn't do a whole lot to secure it. Because if someone gets a hold of that port on the open internet, they can start to just run all their tools against it to be able to use that as a way to get inside your systems. And once they get inside their systems, they can move laterally and cause a lot of damage. So I'm gonna put some of these links into my YouTube video, but essentially there's a blog out on uh, Shodan that talks about it. And then there's a whole Reddit thread that's actually pretty good about um, the 40% increase that Shodan has seen um, from RDP and how it's really not the best security measure that you can do. And what we're also seeing is what happens is misconfiguration sometimes like cloud, someone wants to give someone access and all of a sudden they open up on their cloud um, solution very quickly. They roll out some machines and they open up RDP sessions unknowingly to the internet. So you can see here, I'll include this. There's a blog post I'll show down about remote desktop port utilization and how it's trending up. But ExtraHop can help detect that. So what we do is we're actually going to understand and look at your VPN users, your clients, and your entire internal systems to see who's accessing remote desktop. So you can see all of a sudden we have this remote desktop brute force attack. So here's the offender and here's the victim. And if I hover over those, I can get all the details. So what we're without agents without having to put anything on any of these devices for through behavior analysis, we're expecting zero to one RDP sessions and all of a sudden someone's trying to do 61. And I can see that here's the IIS server that's trying to do it and it's against this particular device, Windows Server 2016. Okay, that's interesting. So I can click through this and now I quickly can get an email on this. I can get alerted that, wow, something is potentially misconfigured because we have a bunch of RDP sessions on one of our servers that should not have RDP open to the internet. You can quickly understand an extra hop, the timeline. What else has this device been associated with? Has there been other attacks once they've done an RDP brute force and been successful? Where are they moving laterally? We explain the attack over here on the right. In their new version in 8.0, you can see who the actual targeted servers are right in the detection card, which is really cool. We bring those records straight up in here, so you can actually see here's the actual time, the client, and associated records. If you wanted the packets, you can hit the bullseye here. So I can go to the records page, and if you needed to get more detail associated with this, you absolutely could here. I could go fields, select all, and show all the fields that are associated with the RDP sessions. And inside the new version of ExtraHop, you can actually click onto these clients and inside the records, you can get details associated with the client. So you could get just the packets for that client, do a search of records. And so it really allows you to pivot nicely. All right, so in summary, RDP is out there. And if you expose it to the internet, you're gonna have lots of problems. ExtraHop can just cover that for you without agents to know that there's RDP brute force or RDP abnormal behavior happening in your infrastructure. You can then start to understand who the players are, get the details of it, and stop it before it becomes a major problem. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.